So he said to me, you're going to be a part of this movement. And it started really to me, this started about 20 years ago, maybe. And I heard the Lord say this movement of understanding ecclesia and kingly decrees. Back when I first moved into prayer movement, we didn't offer declarations and decrees. We just offered up petitions. Well, I heard him say to me, probably in 2000, you will fully shift the nation when the praying church fully shifts from priestly intercession only to kingly intercession also. We have come into the year of the decree or the decade. And God says, we're going to start decreeing things like we've never decreed before. And I'm going to teach for a few minutes on the meaning of that word. It helps me to sit down for a minute, but I don't have to stay sitting down. I just put pressure on that thing and it releases a little bit and then I can move around a little more. That's so you know how to pray. When I sit down, start praying. <laughs> there are, there, there's a passage that, that there's a word in Hebrew that the Lord has emphasized for me. And it's a word used in three familiar verses having to do with decrees. He said in Numbers 23, 19, God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Has he said it and will he not do it? Has he spoken it and will he not make it good? When he said, has he said it and will he not do it? The word do is asa, A-S-A-H. It's a strong word in Hebrew that means to perform, do, accomplish, but it also means to create. His words create. When he speaks, power is released to bring forth something, sometimes out of nothing. To shift, will you bind and loose as you say it? You don't bind. That's the way we bind and loose. That's the way we forbid and allow. He tells us what he wants here and through prophetic inspiration, and we say what he says. The, the New Testament word for confession is homo lagia, lagos, words. And then you say them, and the word literally means say the same thing. When you are, you don't, the error that came in confession was believing that we, whatever we, we could say anything we wanted, God had to do it. Or God would back it up. But that's not biblical confession. Biblical confession is to say what he says. That's what the word means. Say the same thing. So when you say what he says, then power is released from you. And God says, I'll create with those words. When you sing and you begin to sing prophetically over the region, God says, I'll create with those words. Because you'll decree a thing and it's established. Now, but, but, but he began to say to me these passages. I want, you to, I want to keep reading. He says, has he said it? Will he, will he not assaw with it? Has he spoken it? Will he not make it good? And then the prophet goes on to say, I have received a command to bless. And we don't, I don't know, we've missed this so long. God said, I'm going to do this and my words are going to do this, 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 this. And then he said, now they're, I'm going to do this through the words of my prophet. They were just words coming out of the heavens. The prophet said, I've given a command. I've been given a command to bless. And when I bless with my mouth, God says, I create with that. Jeremiah 1, 12. Jeremiah is being called to his prophetic ministry. God says to him, chapter one, I've touched your mouth and I've put my words in your mouth. I have put my words in your mouth. I have put my words that create and perform and accomplish things. I have put my words in your mouth. Let me give you another verse in the New Testament. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. When the angel came to Mary and said, you're going to have a child. She said, how can this be? I'm a virgin. She said, I'm going to, Holy Spirit's going to overshadow you and put the seed of God inside of you. And then he says, for God, nothing shall be impossible. That's not the best translation of that verse. The literal translation of that verse is for no word spoken by God is without power. 
You cannot get more literal in a translation than, the, than that. No word spoken by God is without power. Whether, whether he says it through an angel, whether he says it through a prophet, whether he says it with you, through you, no word spoken by God is without power. So he says to Jeremiah, he touches his mouth and says, I'm going to talk through you. I'm going to say things to the nation through you, Jeremiah. I put my words in your mouth and appointed you over the nations, over the kingdom. I'm going to say this. God says to you, I've appointed you over California. I have appointed you over your neighborhood. I've appointed you over your community, over your county. I have appointed you, and I'm going to put my words in your mouth. When you come to a meeting like this and you hear what God's saying to this community, you're supposed to be more than encouraged. You're supposed to take those words home with you, and you're supposed to begin to say them because you are the voice of God in the region. He has put his words in your mouth, and when you open your mouth and say what he says, it creates something, and it also tears down things. I've called you and put my words in your mouth, Jeremiah, to pluck up and break down, destroy, overthrow, and then to build and plant. You're going to see something that you know isn't right. You're going to look at your government and you're going to be more than frustrated. You're going to know that you're anointed as the ecclesia of God to speak against that. Not against people, but against the powers of darkness and against what they're doing. And you begin to prophesy and say what God says. And when you say what God says, power goes forth out of your mouth because no word from God is without power. And he hovers with those words and he creates with those words and he's going to do that with you in this season. Over the next six months, the words of the ecclesia are going to ascend into the atmosphere over California and shift the atmosphere and shift the government. And by Passover, the Lord says, you will have shifted things in this state.